The water fuel cell is a technical design of a perpetual motion machine created by American Stanley Allen Mayer, around which a case of controversy developed. He claimed that an automobile retrofitted with the device could use water as fuel instead of gasoline. Mayer's claims about his water fuel cell, and the car that it powered were found to be fraudulent by an Ohio court in 1996. Description The fuel cell purportedly split water into its component elements, hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen was then burned to generate energy, a process that reconstituted the water molecules. According to Mayer, the device required less energy to perform electrolysis than the minimum energy requirement predicted or measured by conventional science. The mechanism of action was alleged to involve Brown's gas, a mixture of oxhydrogen with a ratio of 2 to 1, the same composition as liquid water. If the device worked as specified, it would violate both the first and second laws of thermodynamics, allowing operation as a perpetual motion machine. The term fuel cell. Throughout his patents Mayer used the terms fuel cell, or water fuel cell to refer to the portion of his device in which electricity is passed through water to produce hydrogen and oxygen. Mayer's use of the term in this sense is contrary to its usual meaning in science and engineering, in which such cells are conventionally called electrolytic cells. Furthermore, the term fuel cell is usually reserved for cells which produce electricity from a chemical redox reaction, whereas Mayer's fuel cell consumed electricity, as shown in his patents and in the circuit pictured on the right. Mayer describes in a 1990 patent the use of a water fuel cell assembly, and portrays some images of his fuel cell water capacitor. According to the patent, in this case, the term fuel cell refers to a single unit of the invention comprising a water capacitor cellar that produces the fuel gas in accordance with the method of the invention. Media coverage. In a news report on an Ohio TV station, Mayer demonstrated a dune buggy which he claimed was powered by his water fuel cell. He estimated that only 22 AUSA gallons of water were required to travel from Los Angeles to New York. Furthermore, Mayer claimed to have replaced the spark plugs with injectors, which introduced a hydrogen oxygen mixture into the engine cylinders. The water was subjected to an electrical resonance that dissociated it into its basic atomic makeup. The water fuel cell would split the water into hydrogen and oxygen gas, which would then be combusted back into water vapor in a conventional internal combustion engine to produce net energy. Philip Ball, writing in academic journal Nature, characterized Mayer's claims as pseudoscience, noting that it's not easy to establish how Mayer's car was meant to work except that it involved a fuel cell that was able to split water using less energy than was released by recombination of the elementa. Crusaders against pseudoscience can rant and rave as much as they like, but in the end they might as well accept that the myth of water as a fuel is never going to go away. To date, no peer review studies of Mayer's devices have been published in the scientific literature. An article in journal Nature described Mayer's claims as one more water as fuel myth. Lawsuit, in 1996, Mayer was sued by two investors to whom he had sold dealerships, offering the right to do business in water fuel cell technology. His car was due to be examined by the expert witness Michael Lawton, professor of electrical engineering at Queen Mary, University of London and fellow of the Royal Academy of Engineering. However, Mayer made what Professor Lawton considered a lame excuse on the days of examination and did not allow the test to proceed. According to Mayer, the technology was patent pending and under investigation by the Patent Office, the Department of Energy and the military. His water fuel cell was later examined by three expert witnesses in court who found that there was nothing revolutionary about the cell at all and that it was simply using conventional electrolyses. The court found Mayer had committed gross and egregious fraud, and ordered him to repay the two investors their $25,000. Mayer's death Stanley Mayer died suddenly on March 20, 1998 after dining at a restaurant. His brother claimed that during a meeting with two Belgian investors in a restaurant, Mayer suddenly ran outside, saying they poisoned me. After an investigation, the Grove City Police went with the Franklin County Coroner report that ruled that Mayer, who had high blood pressure, died of a cerebral aneurysm. 
Mayer's supporters continued to claim that he was assassinated in order to suppress his inventions. Aftermath, Mayer's patents have expired. His inventions are now in the public domain, available for all to use without restriction or royalty payment. Despite this, no engine or vehicle manufacturer has incorporated Mayer's work. See also, Fox Hydrogen, History of Perpetual Motion Machines, Free Energy Suppression, References. External links, Stanley Mayer website Large Resource of Information www.waterfuelchel.org, Stanley Mayer Biography from waterpoweredcar.com, Fuel for Fraud or Vice Versa. AA Euro Summary of the Article in New Energy News. Mayer's Rebuttal Letter to New Energy News.